Okay, quickly, I just wanted to do a real quick video, and um, I'm not going to throw any special audio in here. As always, if you liked my video, don't forget to hit that like button and share my videos. It really helps me out. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you saw, think about subscribing. And if you subscribe, don't forget to hit that notification bell icon. That way you get a notification of my videos as soon as I release them. Alright, hello everybody. I uh, just wanted to do a very quick video um, and throw it on my Life Post Stroke channel. Uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Uh, and if you're wondering what this channel is all about, uh, well, you're probably going to be deep in thought figuring that one out. Basically, this is where I put all my videos that don't make it to my main channel, which is Hayes Tech and ROM Reviews. And, of course, this is also the channel where I talk about um, the strokes that I've had, the two strokes that I've had, and uh, try to help other people out getting through uh, having a stroke. Uh, what I wanted to talk about today is a polish that I purchased. Uh, this is called Semi Chrome Polish. As you can see right there. And yeah, this is for polishing chrome, okay? Um, but what it does is really does a nice job on guitars. So if you have an older guitar or even a new guitar and you have some issues with it, say, uh, slight scratches, swirls, you know, where, you know, maybe you rest your arm on the body and your shirt is a little rougher than normal. Maybe you have a wool shirt or whatever and it starts to, you get a, like a flat spot in your finish. If you use this and you put a little elbow grease in it, it'll take that out. Now, it looks kind of blotchy right now, but I'm going to put some paste wax, regular paste wax over top of this but it got out a lot of the scratches. It looks great. Now you should, I, I wish I would have done it before and after because it really looks nice. Uh, of course, this is an Epiphone. This is a 1963 uh, Epiphone, and this is the Texan. I think it's the Texan. All I know is solid top, uh, solid spruce, Sitka spruce top. Uh, it has the binding on it and of course solid mahogany back and sides and it's got a mahogany neck just your basic <laughs> uh, Epiphone guitar which Epiphone tried to copy Gibson actually this guitar was made right next to the Gibsons in the same plant and the Gibsons that were made in this style with the, the differences are the Gibson has a straight cut diamond, uh, and of course Epiphone has the angle cuts. I like the Epiphone angle cuts a little better. Um, but these guitars were made right next to Gibson in the plant, <laughs> right next to each other. And the only difference between this and a Gibson is the scale length of the neck. The necks on Epiphones are just a little bit longer. Uh, I think that gives it a little more uh, sustain, a uh, little, you get a better lows on it, uh, and even the highs, in my opinion, sound a little better. My favorite, although, is still Gibson, but back in this day and age, Epiphone made a freaking phenomenal guitar. You'd be hard pressed to be able to tell the difference in the sound between an Epiphone and a Gibson. Um, as you can see, Rosewood Bridge, uh, it's got the little abalone inlays. This one here is deep for some reason. Uh, someday, I don't know, I might try to fix that. It actually needs the bridge reattached. It's starting to come up very, very slightly. Uh, so we may look into somebody to reset, you know, take this off, re-glue it. It might not even have to come off completely. It might just need glue squeezed in there, clamped back down. I don't know, I'm not... Uh, I was willing to work on that Gibson classical guitar we had uh, where the bridge was already removed on it because basically all I had to do is glue it up. I have all kinds of clamps here and I thought, you know what, I'll clean the bridge off, clean the guitar off, 
do the best I can as far as, you know, straightening out any kind of uh, flaws in the finish and clamp it up. What's the worst that could happen? And it turned out great. But I'm not even going to attempt to try to take this bridge off. I would also like to get rid of this adjustable bridge right here um, and put a solid bone nut in there. That would be great uh, because these adjustable bridges do not translate the sound of the string through the bridge into the body of the guitar very well and of course that's just my opinion but um, but whenever you do something like that don't throw these parts away put them in a little plastic bag put them in your guitar put them in your guitar case and keep them because this is a wood this is a wooden nut and it's back from 1963 so um, you know anyways but I wanted to show you the guitar. I wanted to talk about semi-chrome polish real quick. I'm not going to make this long. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. But as you can see, there's the guitar. Here's the only bad spot on the whole guitar. And uh, this used to be my wife's father's guitar. As you can tell by the wear in the neck, he played a lot of cowboy chords. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's some uh, wear right there in the back. right there yes I could refinish this you know I could you know lightly kind of scuff that up and then maybe put some uh, clear over top of it but you know what I don't want to because I remember when he used to play it um, and I just it just you know it's sentimental it, it brings back memories we're never ever ever gonna get rid of this guitar so we're going to leave it the way it is, but I would like to get the bridge fixed on it, get it a 100% again, but I still play it, well, when I can, with my stroke. Uh, affecting my right side, again, it's hard for me to actually strum it, which brings me to my next topic real quick, and now I'm going to let you go. I wanted to show you all this. I wanted to, sh I wanted to show you all this. Um, these are Black Mountain picks. And basically all they do is flip over your thumb like this and allow you to pick your guitar again. Now I'm right-handed so it fits me a little better. I had this on my left hand just to demonstrate it. But I can't feel the pick in my hand. But with this clamped around my thumb I can actually not drop my pick all the time and that's getting me back into playing the guitar which is just freaking awesome. I made a full review on these picks and uh, uploaded it to my other channel. I'll put a link to that video in the video description but guys if you have severe arthritis and you're having problems playing your guitar holding your pick I highly and I mean highly recommend these guitar picks from Black Mountain Picks. Alright, I uh, just wanted to bring you along for the ride. Semi-chrome polish. That's going to get rid of any of the old blemish on your guitar. Uh, then after that, throw a nice coating of good quality paste wax. Don't use cheap stuff. And it's not only going to make your guitar look good, but it's also going to make it sound great. Um, if you have severe arthritis, uh, you're having problems holding your pick, Black Mountain Picks, I highly recommend them. And with that being said, uh, that's all I have for this video. I'm sorry about the audio. I just wanted to make a really quick vlogging type video with my uh, video camera here. And um, it is what it is. Uh, thank you all for watching, and I will see you on the next one.